Yo everyone, so today is another monthly video of my top 5 favorite room of this month. So yeah, so these rooms I actually played in my live stream, if you saw my two live stream, congratulations. You might know some of the rooms, so uh, yeah, make sure you hit that like button. And subscribe and hit that notification that will help me a bunch and uh i'm almost there to that number please i i want that number i i, I need that I, I, I want it yeah but anyways let's move on to the top five rooms i played this month and i like it so what could you game called tube runner you can see you kind of see the name right there but You'll see the name on top of the screen. You will see the name on top of the screen. But basically, you jump in that um, tube there, and you use the joints, the triggers, move left and move right, and you basically try to get a new distance and new score. It's a, it's pretty fun. Me and my friend Fernando or Bendy played this game in our live stream, and it was pretty fun. It's pretty simple. You have to dodge obstacles, and there will be points and some like some type of jump pad. You can jump over the obstacles, and yeah. Uh, so yeah, if you want, you want to know what my high score is? My high score is right now is twelve thousand and twenty-one. If you wonder what my high score is, it's 12,218 meters and 91 score. If you want to try to beat that, go ahead. Just saying this game is fun. And yeah, let's go to the next game, shall we? So welcome to another game. It's a similar game and you can see around me, you guess it, is a Rec Room Studio map. And you have these type of guns, and you guess the name. This is Gun Mining Simulator. So you basically grab a gun and shoot this type of rock right here. And another cool thing about it, they have like a cool animation, like at this. It has a fire, a a fire, a fire. You can see here they have multiple colors of guns ranging to red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and pink. And they have other, um, what's it called? Maps as well. In this game, you basically keep collecting gold and you can buy these type of maps and you earn more gold. And also, you can upgrade your damage, your um, shooting speed and rapid fire so yeah if you like similar games this game is for you okay so let's go on to the next game shall we so this is another game called raising a floppy and you play um a uh, this game in roblox this is the exact same game in roblox basically you're raising this furry creature right here so they're able to raise him you need to get points. You're able to get points, to make him happy. And you see him, he's hungry. Food's right here. And got the maid and everything, right? It's another similar game. Another simulator game, you could say. And in this game, you try to raise the floppy after all. And once in a while, enemies will come in. And you have a sword outside, so you could slay the enemies. And. Secret rooms like the back rooms Yeah, you heard me <laughs> the back rooms. so And also you could buy upgrades maids There's one literally called giga maid or giga chad maid. I don't know Don't know. It's funny this game is um, hilarious and You can see here I played this game for a while. <laughs> so yeah, 
If you like raising a little fuzzy guy, this is the game for you. So l l let's go to the next game, shall we? And welcome to a nerd game. And you could see there's Mr. Beast. And this game is called Mr. Beast Boss Battle. So basically, you're gonna have weapons ranging a bow and arrow, a pistol, a laser pistol, and a rail gun. A rail gun you must buy with tokens, raising 150 tokens. And your goal is to beat Mr. Beast. To able to beat him, you have to shoot his head a thousand times. So yeah, gather, gather your friends and try to beat Mr. Beast. Like yesterday, me and my friends Press the were start playing. On the to play. But me and my friends beat him once in normal mode. Normal mode, we almost beat him in hard mode. But super hard, you like a challenge? Super hard it is. He spammed his abilities so much. Is at the point me and my friends had to use teleportation to dodge every single attack. But keep in mind, I only won once. I never beat hard mode or super hard yet. If you want to gather your friends and try these mode out, go ahead. This game is actually fun, even though it's tiring. So yeah, gather your best friends that could shoot an arrow or shoot a gun and try beat Mr. Beast. So let's go to the last- Press the start button on the scoreboard to play. <laughs> but anyways, let's go to the last and final game, shall we? Go to the last and final game and this game, if you're a noob and have a hard time double shooting like, like you try to get that second arrow fully charged, and you try to find that sweet spot. This is the game for you. You want to learn how to double shoot. So the title says up there is double shoot training. So you see here, right behind, I have multiple courses ranging to shortest range, to the medium range, all to the largest range in the in the far back over there, and. It will help you for your accuracy. If you want to learn for speed, you want to test your speed out, how to shoot. Right here, over right over here, this is for you. So you could spawn a um, barrel, and you will be timed, and try to kill the Try to kill the beast. Fast as fast the fast as you can. That's not actually my personal best record to be honest. My uh I reset it mine. And it used to be uh what's it called? Around the like three thousands no like three like three point something or not I'm not even near two yet but I got to like three and over here you go train where the barrels are it will give you t it will have little tips in the room and you'll see here you'll see green barrel red barrels and the barrel will go like try to find that like spot to kill these guys like here dodge i, I can't even double shoot dodge and double shoot you like dodge and double shoot or if you like fast enough do this you, you could um one cycle them and I don't play quest as much, but I used to one cycle them. And the last and final round is this arena right here. So right here, just press the start button. 
it will help you with your like your stress shot but honestly I use it for oh, damn it. I'm not good with stress shot but I just use it for aiming practice to be honest See, spread shot is like something like that. A spread shot is like move your arm, like keeping it straight, but instead you move your arm like one arrow goes a different direction, the other arrow will go to a different else direction. That will help you a bunch, but a bunch of green goblins are getting up to you. You could shoot multiple targets doing that. It will help a bunch, but yeah. That's my top five favorite room. I hope you liked this video. Like I said, hit the like button, subscribe. I want to reach 150 subscribers. And yeah, see y'all later then. Bye.